So Google just released a brand new AI tool called Pomeli. I think I pronounced that correctly, which allows us to generate on-brand content for various marketing campaigns. And in this quick video, I'm going to cover why this update matters. Usually I don't cover these types of videos, but because this is an AI powered marketing tool coming out of Google Labs, and a lot of you watching do marketing work or are involved in the marketing industry, I figured that this would be a valuable video for you guys. So be sure to stick around until the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here and I help founders and executives leverage AI by scaling content, saving time and building a strong personal brand online. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools, prompts and automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So this new Pomeli AI tool is completely free to access right now with any Google account. And I will leave a link to this and all the other related references in the video description below. And once you're logged into a Google account and you access this URL here, all you need to do is click let's get started. And then this will direct you to a screen here. So you'll see, you might see a screen that looks like this. Hi, we're experiencing high demand right now. Pomeli will take longer than usual. Thank you. Whenever they release new AI tools like this, especially those that are still in experimental mode, typically they're going to be slower when you're trying to access it for the first time. But you'll notice I've come in here as I prepared for this video, generating some on-brand content uh, by plugging in my ryandozer.com website. It automatically generated these assets. So if I click into this, I thought this was one of the better ones it created. All I did was I basically said, you know, here was a podcast that I've been on. I gave it my website URL. I gave it my Ryan Dozer personal brand logo, and it generated these assets right here. The truth about AI slop and it has my logo, it has my brand colors, and you could use this as a carousel on LinkedIn, Instagram, or other social platforms. Signal one, signal two, signal three, signal four. But the nice part here is that if you don't like what you see, you can come in here, you can update the header, the colors, the size, you can update the description, you can add a call to action if it makes sense. Uh, but I'm going to walk through this step by step versus just kind of showing you guys what I've created here in preparation. I'm going to walk through now step by step as if you're using this for the first time. So if we start from scratch and go back to the main page here, click let's get started, probably get a message. Yeah, high demand, click OK. This is what your screen is going to look like. Welcome to Pomeli, easily generate on-brand social media campaigns. It's gonna generate a business DNA, it calls it, get campaign ideas, and then generate creative. So just click let's go. And all you need to do, which is super simple, is just copy and paste any website URL, whether that's for your business, your personal brand, or whatever. So I'm gonna do my ryandozer.com to start here. So simply copy this, go back to that screen, paste it in, click continue. And then it's going to analyze your website, which could take about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes from my experience. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and wait till this part is complete. All right, so that only took a couple minutes, so faster than I anticipated, but now it's generating my business DNA. So here's my name up here. It's just Ryan Dozer, not LLC attached to it. So if you wanna make updates, you can definitely do that here. If you wanna add a logo, which is very important, so it didn't get my logo, I'm gonna click add logo, click upload images, and then I'm going to find my Ryan Dozer personal brand logo, which I've uploaded right here. I'm going to select it and then click apply. So it now has my logo logo, which is very important for generating social media graphics. The fonts, I'm actually not sure if those are the fonts that my website uses. I should probably know that, but I'm just going to leave that as is. You can change it. And then here are the colors that it pulled from analyzing my website. These look correct to me just at first glance. So I'm going to leave that as is for images. These are what it pulled from my website. Um, some media feature images, my headshots, a lot of placeholder images. So I would probably remove a lot of these since I still have a lot of updates to make on my website. Um, but you can alter the images if you want. Click the pencil icon. You can remove them, upload your own images, etc. So for now, I'm just going to say this looks good. 
So then it will take you to a screen that looks like this, where we can now input a prompt to describe the campaign that we want to create. But before I show you that, notice below here that it automatically made suggestions based on that business DNA. And if you remember from before, that business DNA is my website, the images, the fonts, the colors, and the logo that you provide. So it automatically created things based on that alone. Scale your authority with AI, the AI authority system. Um, so let's just click on this to see what it looks like. Uh, so not terrible in terms of the copy, but obviously I would want better images here. Even if I had my headshot on all of these, that could be a decent carousel. Um, but you see what I mean here. So if you want to come in here and change one of these, you would click this, you could duplicate it, you would click into it. And on the right hand side, notice there's an option to change the image, the header, the description. You can generate a call to action. Uh, if I go back to it, you can actually add a creative to it. So you can describe the new graphic that you want to make that kind of goes with what's already there. But anyways, let's go back to the main screen here and actually enter a prompt. So I'm going to do something simple. A social media carousel covering the three best AI tools for marketing include ChatGPT, Claude, and Notebook LM. Obviously, you can come in here and generate whatever you want, but I'm just going to wait a few seconds here until these new ideas are created. All right, so Pamelli created these three ideas, command the industry conversation, operator to authority, top three AI tools for authority. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And then you have to wait about a minute or so again for these graphics to generate. All right, so after about 30 seconds, this is what I got here. Not terrible, right? The first thing I noticed is I would probably come in here and I would probably edit this, not ChatGPT Mastery. We want to say ChatGPT Plus, as that's the actual tool. And so once you make an edit here, it's going to take a little bit for that graphic to update. But notice I can also change the background image if I wanted to as well. Go beyond basic prompts, get advanced content. I would probably change that if I were gonna post it where you'd click description and then change the box right here. Uh, but if we go back, one thing I would wanna change for sure is this headshot. So if I wanna change this headshot, you would click into this, click image preview, and then find whatever images that you've provided. So I'm gonna get my headshot. You can give it background edits if you wanna do that. I'm just gonna click apply, and then this will put my headshot there versus that stock headshot that was there previously. And if I had to guess, it's probably using Nano Banana behind the scenes to alter these graphics and whatnot with the images. Tool two, so if I wanna change this, I would just do like Claude Pro as my header. And then you have to wait again, unfortunately. It does take a little bit when you're editing this frequently as it has to regenerate that graphic. And then I would edit the description as well. Um, but if I go back, again, you could do the same thing here. Tool three, edit the header. Uh, tool three, we would want Notebook LM. And then wait a little bit for that to generate. But you guys see where I'm going with this as it's a really easy plug and play method to generate carousels that can be posted on LinkedIn, Instagram, or any other relevant social platform. So now let's say you want to create a new business DNA with a new business or a new website. All you would do here is you would click this three dots and click reset business DNA. Before I do that, notice how you can download your business data. So that might be kind of interesting if you ever want to train a GPT, a project, just something that's spinning around in my head as I first saw that. So I would click reset business DNA, click delete all, and then this will take you back to that introduction message where then you would click let's go, input the new website and then go from there. But that is Google's new AI tool called Pomeli in a nutshell. And I'm very curious to hear how you guys are going to use this. So let me know in the comments below. And for more AI tools from the team at Google Labs, simply visit labs.google. I'll leave this in the description below. Find recommended AI tools, click view all. And here you can just look at all these different things that the team at Google is working on. Notebook LM was at one point in experimental mode inside Google Labs. So just keep Keep that in mind. Those are the types of tools that the team is constantly creating behind the scenes. But anyways, if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you guys. And if you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.